Hi, this is the lesson five for linear theory for classical guitar and piano. This is one of the quicker and simpler theory lessons of the nine. So you're in for kind of a, a, a simpler week this week, especially after all those minor scales last week. I know you spent some time getting those just right. In this lesson, we're really simply just identifying and learning the concept of relative keys. Now, I think from the way we did our major scales and our minor scales that you're going to see really quickly how two keys can be very, very closely related and hence become relative keys. So let's get right to work here and we'll explain the concept. Really, it's more an understanding of a concept and, um, than, than real application. So, so let's get to work here. If we take a look at the circle of fifths, let's just do a quick review of of how we arrived at major scales. We had our major scale uh, that uh, used the pattern one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, and that is our major scale. And then you'll recall that we said our minor scale went from six to six. And so obviously, that sixth note of the major scale becomes the tonal center of the minor scale, and they're really quite closely related. Now, using our circle of fifths, we can see that the circle of fifths gives two letter names as being a major key and a minor key. These would, what would be what we call relative keys. C's relative minor is A, and if you think of a C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, and there it is, A is the relative minor of C. And trust me when I tell you that works for all of the various relative minors throughout the circle of fifths. So really all we're dealing with here is this concept of relative minors and that, there, that every major key has a very closely associated minor key with it. Let's take a look at the assignment. The assignment is uh, also uh, one that I think goes very quickly. Basically, if you look at the assignment in part one, and let's look at number three to start, it gives you a key signature in treble clef of one flat, and the, the, it simply asks you to name the major key and the minor key. So, we refer back to our circle of fifths, and if we find one flat, and here it is, we can see very quickly that one flat is F major and D minor. So simply write F major and D minor, and that one is done correctly. That's number three. You can do the rest of those. For part two, it gives you the major scale, and then it asks you to write the minor scale. So for number one, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat. Now, this is our major, and the relative minor begins on the sixth note. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, if you needed to write that relative minor to E flat, it would just be the same letter names starting on C. C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C. So, this is the relative minor to the major scale E flat. Don't forget the two at the top of the last page. Turn over to page 23 and you'll see them. And in part three, it says select three pieces from your band folder, et cetera, et cetera. Anytime the instructions begin with looking in your band folder, just disregard those instructions. We won't be doing that part of the theory. Okay? That should take care of theory five. I'm not expecting that this one will take you very long at all to take care of. Um, if you have any questions, as always, uh, come grab me and ask me any questions that you have.